Hey everybody, Dr. Oliver here for BackIntelligence.com and today we're going to talk about a simple yet very effective exercise for your hip and your glutes, specifically your glute medius muscle. And if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button so you get access to more videos as we put them out. So like I said, we're going to talk about a very simple exercise, but it's well studied and one of the best studied exercises to show to activate the glutes and specifically your glute medius muscle. So when we're talking about your glutes, the muscles around your hip from the back to the front, you have three glutes, your glute max, your glute medius, and your glute minimus. All very important muscles, but we're talking more the side portion, the lateral portion here in your glute medius muscle. This muscle is extremely important for stability of your hip. It protects your knee, and it's very vital to protecting your low back as well. So we see patients all the time in the office with low back pain, knee pain, hip pain, even ankle dysfunction that have a weak glute and specifically into your glute medius. So we're going to go over a couple progressions of this clamshell exercise uh, to get you be more active in the glute and get you to better shape so you can protect your back and your hips and your knees. So let's go ahead and do this right now. So we've got Leon on the floor here. And we're going to assume the simple clamshell position. So it's side lying. So he's going to bend on his side. He's going to use his hand as a pillow or an actual pillow. He's going to make sure he rests all the way down so he didn't stress his neck at all. He's going to have his knees bent at a nice angle here. He's got a hand on the top hip, knees stacked together. And all he's going to do is open and close his knees. It's very simple. He's going to keep his feet together, essentially just rolling one foot on top of the other and just opening the knees. The key is that you're going to activate and you're going to feel it in the side of this hip here in those glute muscles we're talking about. He's doing a good job keeping the hand on the hip. One reason we do that and the main reason is to limit the motion from our low back. So if he didn't do that, if he opened up too wide and he came up too high, you'd see him roll. But he would know that because his hand had moved. So he wants to keep the hand there as a limiting factor to stop him from rolling from his back. We want to isolate the movement to the hip. One little tweak you can make sure to emphasize it even more is as this is down, if you slightly move this knee, just the top knee in front of the bottom knee, just about an inch, it'll lock it into a better position, which will really activate that glute more. So again, you're opening and closing, and you're really going to feel that in the side of that hip there. Usually with patients with this, I'll have them do it till it gets tired. You go to fatigue points. If you're getting up to 15, 20, 25, 30 reps, it's getting too easy for you. Then you're going to progress to the next step, which is going to be adding a band to it. So Leon will grab his band. These loop bands are generally a better option, uh, but if you have any type of band, you can tie, tie it in a loop and get it around that area. That'll work too. So all the loop is doing is adding resistance to it, making the exercise a little bit harder. So as you feel the first progression is too easy, then we're going to move to the other. So again, we're laying on our side. We're using that hand as a pillow, or we can use a pillow. We're resting down our neck. We've got our hand on our hip, and it's open and closed. So again, we're opening the knees, closing the knees. We're rolling off that bottom foot. We're making sure we're not rolling through our low back. And again, we'll do this to fatigue. And obviously, we'll do both sides. So we'll do this till it burns out, then it fatigues out. Go to the other side. And if you feel up to it, you can do a second round on each side. So again, you're really fatiguing the side of that hip, getting those glutes to work really hard. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you like it as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Also, research shows that uh, you need to strengthen your core if you want to alleviate some of that low back pain. Uh, and not only that, but you need to make sure that the exercises that you perform really target those deep core muscles, and you need to make sure those exercises are safe for your spine. Now, we have a free PDF that we'd love to send you with uh, some of the most effective and safest core exercises that you can do from your home. So if you'd like to get that PDF, there's going to be a link to it somewhere here on the video or down below in the description. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you that free PDF right away.